Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing the September predictions for Scorpio. So, let's go ahead and get the next month's predictions for Scorpio. Okay, so you all have Gemini, Energy, and at the bottom of the deck, you all have Chiron. Alright, so let's pull these both up. All right, so the main energy of your month of September is going to be Gemini energy. All right, so in a reading, your ability to adapt to new situations is going to be your greatest strength right now. A wave of change is coming your way, and at times you may feel like this isn't progress, but it is. Sometimes staying afloat is a goal. Life isn't always about Getting from point A to point B. You will need to rely on networking, on your networking skills to get something done in the near future. So Gemini is here as a little nudge in that direction. Evaluate the connections you have. Are you maintaining them? Are you offering something or just taking? People remember these interactions. All right. So it seems like the month of September is going to be one that maybe very social um career wise networking wise community wise okay let's clarify gemini with tarot all right so you all have the prince of wands instigation card in this deck the emperor reversed ace of cups reverse seven of pentacles i thought it was an eight the star sorry i gotta cover that and then the chariot reverse the bottom of the deck is six of wands awesome all right so i feel like you are figuring out what you're gonna do next like what you're gonna get into next again there could be a lot about career um community maybe you're joining a community um, maybe you've joined a group, maybe you've started a business, that kind of thing. Um, but whatever it is, I feel like you're in a place where you're supposed to be exploring and learning, um, learning these people and learning a group and kind of just, you know, Gemini energy is really like expansive, innovative, getting to know people, communicative. Um, so we have the Emperor reverse, Ace of Cups reverse. Hmm. So I feel like you've healed from like things in your past or how things have gone in your past. Okay, you may have been in a situation or had a boss or a leader or somebody that you dated. Somebody connected to you showing up as the Emperor Reverse or Empress Reverse. So this will resonate differently for everyone. For some of you, it'll be like your community, your group. Others of you, it'll be business, career, your job, and others of you it could be love. But whatever it is, I feel like you have healed from a past situation. This could even be like something that um, you separated yourself from. Like maybe you left a job. Maybe you left a friend circle, left a friend behind, left something draining behind. But the nine of disc is here. So you have became more stable from whatever you're processing. And again, for some of you, it could just be childhood, like um, a father figure or a mother figure that um, is essentially going to be the situation or something that you've healed from has, um, has given you the tools that you're going to be needing in the month of September as far as networking, okay? Um, and getting to know people and moving forward in your career and your day-to-day and your community, that kind of thing. So I feel like you're at a place where your feelings are more balanced, okay? We have the two of wands reverse, and then we have the queen or king of disc. So essentially, I feel like um, you're in a place where you're pouring into yourself. Um, you, I feel like you switched, you could have switched some type of plan, like maybe in the past or maybe this month you planned on being a part of however this may resonate because I feel like it's one topic but it, again um my messages are general they resonate differently with everybody but 
if this was a friendship group, it's like, okay, I thought I was going to be in this group, but now I'm not. I thought I would be doing this, but now I'm not. There's something where you're open to whatever the heck is next and new for you. So again, whatever community or friendship group or a job or maybe you moved, whatever you're starting is going to be amazing. We have all the cards I have to cover. That's so interesting in this reading. So yeah, this is like a fresh new start for a lot of you all. Okay, now uh, I do feel like, again, with the beginning in reverse, you are not, yeah, you felt like you had bad luck tied to whatever you're leaving behind, a family matter tied to um, a group, a person, an ex, you felt like you were getting just, it was just bad, like things just kept happening to you, and I feel like you're creating or you're stepping into a place of again stability and the nine of pentacles is here as well clarifying this energy so like i feel like that you're leaving behind i feel like you were supposed to stand out from the fray or stand out from a group um or something wasn't aligned for you aligned with you tied to the people or the group you were connected to however it may resonate and I feel like you're ready to do something completely new, okay? So the star is here. So you're going to be getting really good attention. Um, if you have like a platform, that could be uh, getting a lot of attention. But this, you're going to notice um, that this comes after the people or the job or the family members that you were connected to. Um, they didn't really appreciate you or they weren't really generous to you or they kind of shortchanged you where you were doing a lot of work and not getting the, um, you know, the, gratific the gratification from it, if that makes sense. Like, people were taking your efforts and your time and essentially just, you know, taking it and running with it. So, I feel like you, there may be a period, uh, Six of Swords Reverse, where you kind of, like, think about what you want in the future or think about what kind of group or organization or job or family environment that you want to be in in the future. Yeah, because I feel like whatever you're going toward, they're going to be very reliable. Like, this is not a friendship group or a job that's going to, like, take you for granted, that kind of thing. Um, and the chariot's in reverse. So, like I said, I, I feel like you're before you make any major decision, you're going to be able to make the decisions and make the decisions if you want to join something, if you want to stick with something or not. Bottom of the deck is a six of wands. So... Um, a lot of you are going to be uh, in connections um, in the month of September that are going to essentially help you move forward, okay? Um, the Six of Wands is here, so there's going to be some success here. Um, I feel like in the past, maybe this person didn't really have much uh, clue what direction they wanted to go into, so they weren't really putting an effort or showing you that they could work together or showing you that they could be an equal member, but I feel like uh you your dream your vision what you're manifesting what you're expecting has definitely has definitely rubbed off on someone so a lot of you guys are going to be meeting someone or connecting with someone in the month of september collaborating with someone that has more uh willpower staying power um that's going to be very instrumental in your goals and your goal reaching in the month of September, okay? Lastly, at the bottom of the deck, we have Chiron. So in a reading, Chiron appears when we have that nagging feeling of self-doubt we just can't shake. You already have all the tools you need to solve your problem. You just need to, you just have to do some deep reflection to find them. Try as we may, even the most evolved people carry their trauma with them everywhere they go. How they use the trauma is what is important. Are you lashing out around those around you or are you focusing your emotions on something productive to better your life and the lives of your community? This asteroid carries with it the delicate balance between inward focus, tending to yourself, and outward focus, tending to others. Swaying too far in one direction can make us overindulgent and selfish, and the other way can leave us feeling neglected and burned out. 
this is an ongoing theme theme of life that we all must experience at one point or another so what you don't see is that you're going to be going back and forth between again that generosity that six of pentacles that equal give and take there's a major manifestation that you are going to like it's going to be right in your face Whatever you're doing, whatever you're starting, whatever you're joining, okay? But again, it's going to be very important to balance um, not really engaging or not over giving to people that um, are not giving to you, as, if that makes sense. Um, and also working on keeping the balance between um, any type of friendship, relationship, collaboration to where you don't, you know, lose sight of what you're doing while uh, you're working on something with this person. But I do feel like, again, with the Gemini energy, a lot of you guys could be going to a lot of social events. I feel like there's going to be a lot of really good attention here. Whatever you're starting, whatever you're doing, whatever networking you're doing, I feel is going to be very important in the month of September. Um, and uh, I feel like keeping a balance is going to be important as well. So I do hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for hitting the like button, subscribing, and thank you for watching.